Hi everybody, it's Sam from Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I am going to be showing you how to make an accordion pop-up card. Now this one I actually made back in September of last year, 2020, for an exclusive tutorial for Making Cards and Paper Craft magazine. And I will link that one to their magazine. You can watch the video there. It's free to watch in the description box below. And that was to make this one here. And then I recently just showed you how to make your own envelopes. And I used this card as an example. And I briefly opened it like this and I was then inundated with comments, messages, emails of people asking me how to make this. And I thought, well it's been quite a while now since that tutorial has gone out so I thought I would make another one. So this is the original card. You can see this lovely accordion of butterflies and then it all folds up into this 6 by 6 card and then on the back here you can write your message. Then this was the one that I made during the Facebook Live and this is it now all finished, so those of you that were watching you can see how I finished the front because I was kind of running out of time as I always do and then inside I turned this one into a thank you card and I've got all this lovely detail and then you can see on the back there's your place to stamp and write your message well I won't be stamping anything I'm just going to write a nice little note there so this is what we're going to make it's very easy to do and I'll show you it you can use stamps as I have but you can also use your die cuts as well so let me show you how so I said during the live I was going to do a yellow version, so I've already done the front of the card and that's the back. It's also embossed the front here and that's a birch tree embossing folder, which is this one here. And I'm going to use that to emboss the two pieces for the inside. So I've already gone ahead and stamped and coloured everything. If you do want to watch me doing this layered stamping, which is from this set here, it's Hampton Art Butterfly and it's the layered butterfly. It's really, really nice. I will link it. If I can find that one and if you want to see that process you can check out my Facebook live video which will be linked below and also that original one in the turquoise colour. So this is a 6x6 six six, but there's no reason why you can't do this in another size card. I imagine it would look really good in an 8x8 eight eight or 7x7 seven seven, those larger square cards because you could have bigger you know elements popping out. But what I've done is I just cut a piece of 12x12 12 12 in half so I've got this piece of 6x12 and then I'm just going to score this one in half so I've got my yellow card blank. But you can have shop brought, it's entirely up to you. And I'm just going to fold and burnish that one. And then I've got lots of mats and layers because you basically end up matting, matting? You, you mat and layer every single side. So I've got these two pieces for the inside. So the white, you'll need four pieces and they're five and three quarters squared. And then I've got these pieces that are five and a half by five and a half, which is the same for the others as well. I've got different colours. So I'm going to have the same yellow on the insides, but I'm actually going to emboss these and do some die cutting. And then I've got this darker yellow, more of a mustard yellow to go on the front. So it's those same sizes, five and three quarters squared and five and a half squared. And then I have the white piece to go on the back and I'm going to cut... Actually, no, that one's for the front because then that's going to go on there. Basically, the sizes I've given you and the amounts, they'll all be on my blog anyway, but as long as, long as they're five and three quarters squared and five and a half squared, you'll just need four of each of those sizes. First of all, I'm going to stick all of the white mats down onto the four sides of this card. Right, so that's all of the mats and layers stuck down and then these two lighter yellow pieces are going to go inside like this. But before I stick them down, I want to die cut my thank you. So I'm going to lay them down in place there and I'm using my chunky alphabet die set here. So I'm just going to pull out the letters I need. Okay, so I'm happy with that placement and then I'm just going to grab some tape here take some of the stickiness off probably way too much stickiness there because I've got a very fluffy jumper on and I'm just going to lay it over the three dies carefully because I don't want to move them but I also want to make sure it sticks to my cardstock and now I can run that one through my die machine and again I'm going to tack down the thank and I'm also going to run that one through and I'm only going to run through the end, I'm not going to run through the whole piece and I'll put a piece, sheet of copy paper over the top of this and then my plate so I don't get any markings on this but I am going to be embossing this as well so if there are a few little marks you're not going to really notice them but they're now both ready for me to die cut and then just take your tape off and if you've got any negative space because obviously you might have different you know, words that you're die cutting here 
that's if you're doing it in the same way as me but I've got the centre of the A there which fell out so I'll be piecing that back in and then all these letters I can keep for another project and I just popped them in the back of my die set you can see there's the purple ones there from the other one so again take this away and then I'll keep the centre of the O Okay, so I'll keep all that safe and then I'm going to emboss both of these pieces now with this embossing folder. So I'm just going to lay it in there, make sure I get it in the middle so I get all of that lovely design. I'm just going to run those both through. So now you can see that lovely birch wood, I'm sure it is birch, birch trees. And I'm going to stick those now both down onto my card. that's the inside of the card ready so now I'm going to start adding my butterflies. Now you want a symmetrical image whether it be a die cut or a stamped image. Now these ones I haven't got I don't know if they come with a die but I don't have the die so I've actually fussy cut these. So although they look symmetrical they may not line up perfectly but I wanted to show you that you can still get away with it because I've done a white border I'm going to be attaching obviously them together on the tops of the wings there if you look really closely it doesn't exactly line up but because of the white border you wouldn't notice that. However if you don't have things like this, I know lots of you that have followed me for a while you might have things like the Bright Rosa Butterfly dies. So this is one here so you've got your background so I would die cut that. These are, I think I measured two and I think it was two and a quarter or two and a half, no two and a half dies the size that I'm using and be, I'm going to be having seven of the butterflies. So, you know, you can have more or less, it's entirely up to you. If you have less, they're just going to be more stretched if you've got that similar kind of size. But any of these kind of butterflies, you might want to use dragonflies, flowers, you can have different shapes, circles, squares, um, hexagons, rectangles. You can use anything really, once you see how I do it. So, so you want to decide whereabouts you want it to start. So you can see here, because of the where I had the thank you and I had this little kind of arrangement here and here, kind of had it in the middle but I think this one was higher up yeah so it's a bit more higher up it's a bit more simple inside so it's entirely up to you but I'm going to do similar because I've got the same arrangement I've got all the die cuts ready there and I came in about half an inch from the um, side there of the card and the first one you lay down you want to pop glue on the whole half so in my case it's the left hand side that half there and then Make sure, for me, I'm going to make sure the body's straight and I'm going to make sure the edge of the wing there comes in about half an inch. So I think that's about right. And then I'm just going to fold that in half. Now the next one, all you're going to do is pop a bit of glue just for me, just on the top of the wing. Now if you've got something, maybe some butterflies have a piece that comes out the bottom here of the body or the wing then add a bit of glue there as well. But you only want to add a little bit of glue because you only want it to attach by a little amount so that more of it can open as you open the card. So again, control the glue. You don't want anything kind of oozing out and it sticks the whole thing together. And then fold that in half. And then again, a little bit of glue. Grab the next one. And I'm just trying to keep them as lined up as possible. And then fold that one in half. With a little bit of glue. And just keep doing that until you stuck them all down. Now with the last one you're going to stick it on the same way, so just with that little bit of glue in the top. But then when you fold it in half, this last half you want to pop glue all over it. And then you're just going to fold the card shut. I'm not worried about that mark there because I'm about to cover all that. In fact I think it's some of the ink, the purple ink from the last project. So that's that now stuck down. So I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to stick the front on. So this would be a good time now for you to decorate the card. Okay, so that's the front all stuck down. You'll see that lovely embossed piece again and then two of the butterflies and then I'm going to show you this detail in a second. The sentiment is from the same stamp set as the butterflies and then on the back there you've got your space and then when you open up the card 
you have that lovely accordion of butterflies. It just looks so pretty. So the pieces here, the stamps and everything, are from the kit number 14 Papercraft Society. So it's the same flowers that I used when I made the pop-up slimline card. They're just kind of attached to this lovely garland here. And this is, well, well actually it, it will make a wreath because you, you stamp two or three of them together, but I've been using it as a garland, which I did on the other card, and then the flower there I've used as well. And you get the dies for that one. So I've just stamped a few of those and then these sprigs are from the very first Paper Craft Society which was the Christmas one and I just love that particular one and with the yellow gold goes really nice together so I'm just going to stick down these pieces in the same arrangement as this one. There's those it's all stuck down and then I just finished it off with some Nouveau drops so I'll just go through the colours and I'll talk about the colours that I stamped everything in as well so it's a three layer stamping so I well it's four layers but I only chose the three and I use the Oasis the Parakeet and the Lagoon colours and they come as a set of three you can buy them individually but the set of three helps you when you do your layer stamping because it's all in order that's the quick dry harmony Spectra Noir for this one here I used the Pale Fig, Crushed Velvet and Damson Wine and then for the yellow one I used the Straw Bale, Lemon Tonic and Honey Pop. And then for the Nouveau Drops, for this one I used these two. This one was very very thick, I'm not sure if it's, I'm not going to say faulty but it seems like a different recipe but they are the same in terms of, the, they're both crystal drops. These are Nouveau, so it's the Violet Galaxy but then I ended up using a lot more of this one because it works better and that's the Crushed Grape and you can see those all around there. And then for this one, I've taken the gold and the English mustard. The actual one of this is, oh, it's metallic mustard. So those two, and I'm just going to finish it off because once I sit these down, I can't close the card or really move it around too much. So just once you kind of, that stays shut for a while, those butterflies will kind of stay more in that shape. But again, you can just see where I've added them to make the little butterfly trails there. So I'm just gonna do a few of those inside the card. So I'll just bring that up a bit closer now so you can see all the shine and the dimension from the Nouveau drops. So I'm going to just set that one aside and then I'll just bring back in these ones here. So you can see on this one here I've used the jewel drops, Nouveau drops. They're, they're clear with a hint of colour and I used a sparkle pen all over the butterfly there. You can just see, there we go, all that sparkle. And then again, when you open it up, that lovely accordion of butterflies. And then of course you've seen the yellow and then I bring up the purple one again. So which one's your favourite? Do you prefer the turquoise, the yellow or the purple? Again, just kind of help it close. I love the front of that one as well. I'm going to add some sparkle to those butterflies. And I can't wait to send these off to my friends. So there you have it. That is the accordion butterfly card. I hope those of you that have been requesting this one have enjoyed the tutorial. Like I said, everything will be linked in the description box below as always. And I'll be back very soon with more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.